Hello, everybody. Welcome to my show, Aristotle's Talk in 10 on Tuesdays, episode 3. Today, we will discuss about first time home buyers, my top five tips. Tip number one purchase uh, title insurance when it comes to closing your deal. This is when, when the lawyer will ask you, will you be interested in purchasing a title insurance? My, my answer is yes. Why not protect your investment? A client that actually just purchased with me uh, several years ago, spoke with the uh, neighbor, afterwards made a claim with title insurance and that title insurance paid for the cost that they had to pay in order for them to fix the situation. So it is important to, to have one uh, that's only actually a one-time fee. Uh, my clients paid for it, I think it was $400, but they can vary from, uh, you know, locations in Ontario. Uh, their minimum, I think it was between $250 to $400 for title insurance. So that's my number one tip for the day. Purchase title insurance. My tip number two for first time home buyers. If you're a first time home buyers and you have saved up at least a minimum of thirty-five thousand or, or or you know whatever amount that is on your RSPs and you have a partner who's also saved up about the same amount, I would say it's wise to use your RSPs as a down payment. However, uh, when you're going through this process, just ensure that in your bank for 90 days before you can use it. I had a client uh, prior to this, uh, I would say several years ago, that wanted to use their RSPs, but they couldn't, uh, you know, uh, take the money because it wasn't in their bank long enough. So make sure that when you use your RSPs, that it's within the 90 days period. Okay? That's tip number two. Use your RSPs. Tip number three. When it comes to uh, the process of waiting to move into your home uh, before the closing period, my suggestion is don't shop around yet. Don't apply for new credit cards or anything like that because it is important to take care of your, your credit during the time of preparation to closing the deal. The client uh, before that actually told me a story about one of their friends who wasn't warned by, by the realtor regarding this, started purchasing uh, furnitures, bought a new car as well, okay? Prior to moving into the, to their new home. So what ended up happening is they ended up be getting declined on closing date. What they needed to do was um, extend the closing and trying to find a co-signer in order for them to close the deals. I don't want this to happen to you guys. Again, when it comes to the closing time, it is tip number three, is that <clears throat> don't spend any money. Save your money until closing. And once the, 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 the title has been transferred to your name, then you can buy any furniture you want. It's tip number three. Tip number four. Save enough money for closing. Uh, you know, I have heard of horrible stories where the the first time home buyer wasn't aware about the closing costs. Uh, you know, and uh, they end up closing the deal and not having enough fun. So they had to actually find people that they know that would lend them the money in order for the, to close the deal. So again. Uh, Tip number four, I want you to save enough money for closing. And what that is, is between 1.5% to 2% of the cost of the purchase price of the home. So what does that entail? Okay, it, it actually, you can be paying for an appraisal from the bank, okay? The lawyer's fee, that's the reason why it's important to talk to your lawyer prior to closing. Moving fee, when you're moving, you might be hiring some people when it comes to moving, uh, storage. It could be um, a lot a lot of things like that for closing. So it all depends on, on the, the buyer, right? So it's important to save up enough money for your closing, okay? That's between 1.5% to 2% of the purchase price. 
Okay. Tip number five. Like tip number five, the last one. Make sure that uh, you know prior to moving into your new home to contact the hydro company and the gas company. I have heard stories in the past or even have read stories uh, from other realtors that you know the the buyer moves into the house and this is winter time too right it happened during winter time when this happened you move in they contact their their realtor and and then the buyer goes how come my light's not working how come it's so cold in the house what the buyers did not understand is that the realtor forgot to advise them to make sure to contact the companies the utility companies such as you know the hydro and the gas to transfer the name to them so don't forget to transfer the name of of the hydro and the, the gas you want to make sure that when you move in there's heat in the house if it's winter that the electricities are all working this is my top five tips for the day thank you for watching